We often compare our brains to a computer. There are similarities, but there is a lot more than meets the eye or the mind. Ah. Imagine a computer made of 75% water with enough power to light a bulb. A computer that never goes on standby or shut down during its whole life and where obviously there is no return or exchange warranty either with 100,000 electrochemical reactions happening every second and where all the information exchange, processing, storage etc. all happen due to these chemical reactions we can say that the speed of the brain is mere 430 km per hour same as the world's fastest running bullet train in Shanghai. This is much slower than the computer based on binary electronics where the processing happens in a computer and the information flow is much much faster almost equivalent to the speed of light. And why we compare the supposedly slow human brains to an ultra fast computer? What is ironical is that even with humongous amount of computers human scientists have at their disposal humans still understand very little about the human brain. Now since the brain is associated with controlling most functions of the human body, scientists have been trying to understand it by associating it to different functions of the human body. However, within the brain, there is no central processor like the CPU in a computer. All different parts are called lobes and are responsible for different functions that human beings are involved in. For instance, take this little part at the bottom of your brain that helps you coordinate. And so the next time if you fail to juggle or lose the epic video game battle, you can blame it on this part called the cerebellum. This one is for language and alphabets. This part is for vision. This is for control of limbs. These tubes for sensory control. And this one for controlling emotions. And this little part inside is for storing memory. And this biggest part, the front part, is the planner for any tasks, smallest tasks of doing homework to running for the presidential election. And so for those who live completely unplanned lives like me, they probably don't have this part in a very good condition. Just kidding. Now the way our brain stores information is extremely distributed, unlike a nice folder in our computer's hard disk. For instance, memory of eating our favorite ice cream is stored in many different parts. Even the thought of which makes our brain release water in our mouth. Picture of an ice cream is in one part, taste is in another, and the ecstatic emotion associated with the experience in yet another place. And all this interconnected mind map is brought together by this part called the hippocampus, literally meaning the seahorse monster. Now one of the ways humans explore human brain is by putting a lot of electrodes and measuring the electrochemical impulses which take place during the reactions in various parts of the brain which is also called the brain activity. Another way to understand the brain is to see movement of water in the brain. The different colors in this picture, red, green etc. denote the different directions in which the water is moving, just like in pipes. The water in our brain is the energizer responsible for producing hormones and neurotransmitters. No wonder we often need water or some liquid such as tea or juice to think properly. When the human body is asleep, the cerebrospinal fluid moves in all the brain to cool it down and flush out the toxins. And so before you decide to spend your nights in front of the computers or the smartphone playing your epic video game, remember sleep time is brain's cleanup time. These techniques are called the imaging of the brain. Electrochemical methods are used in magnetic imaging and water movement is tracked by diffusion imaging. And they allow to study and understand the brain without cutting it open. Something we of course do not want. And while the basic unit of a computer is a transistor made on thin silicon, which is a fancy name for ultra purified sand, the basic unit of a brain is a living cell called a neuron and 100 billion of these neurons connect with each other in the brain making an extremely complex circuit also called the pathway almost similar to transistors connected in a computer. Scientists also believe that all the information of a human being is stored 
in these connections between the neurons and one can think of this as an electronic circuit inside a brain but much more complex than any circuit in a robot or any supercomputer and so it is believed that if one can decipher these 100 billion connections between the neurons humans can conquer the human brain and just for comparison even deciphering the connections in a fruit fly's brain is extremely complex but the human connectome project aims to map all these 100 billion neurons and its connections and we hope that all this can be done within our lifetimes some of the brain path images that we have shown come from this project oh yes and the research also says that the connections of human brain are made by the time we turn 12 so i wonder why we need to go to school after we turn 12 well the connections don't entirely stop forming and actually any time we learn something new or even practice the same thing over newer connections get formed and strengthen inside remember practice makes you perfect oh and also watching tv stops building this network really bad news for all the cartoon channels in the last 5 years scientists have really focused on their work to understanding and mapping the brain connections rather than just focusing on the individual parts and it is believed that when we are done and if we are done we will get all the answers to whatever happens inside our brain so much for human endeavor of trying to conquer this 1.5 kg small human brain running at 430 km per hour with the help of millions of ultra fast human made computers ha ha so you know who won the race and by the way while this movie was the creation of couple of human brains ironically the manufacturing and distribution was possible due to human computers hope you enjoyed the film thank you